Good morning, world. This is Bree, and I'm reporting from India, where the food is just as spicy as it is going in, as it is coming out. I'm going to give you a little tour of the area that we're staying. We're staying in like a Catholic convent, I guess. It's called the Pastoral Center, and we're going to go to the roof and do this update. So here we go. This is my favorite little spot. Some Gandhi reading material. Up a tiny little stairway to the roof. There's India. We'll go up one more so we can see better. Clothes hanging. There's the Catholic Church. The sun is just coming up. For some reason, I am up at 6 a.m. on Saturday morning. So you must excuse my outreach hair that I have. And yeah, this is pretty much what I look like every day, minus the makeup. So, welcome to India. Having a great time. Uh, this is our third week now. In India we've been in the hospital for two weeks and yeah this week has been a massive battle and fight for life however we've seen God do amazing things one of the testimonies that I wanted to share with you is just how I believe it was Tuesday no it was Wednesday it was a really really hard day I think we had six stillbirths and um, several babies that we tried to resuscitate and only a few live babies the whole day and we really just felt a spirit of death it was over the hospital and over those women and um yeah so one of the girls had an idea to um to go and anoint anoint the doorposts with oil just as god told the israelites to anoint the doorposts doorposts of their houses um, so that the angel of death would pass over. And so, yeah, the next day on Thursday we did, we went and um, they anointed the doorposts and the bed frames <laughs> of the labor ward and, and the baby room, and it was incredible. You could feel the tangible difference in that labor room. And yesterday, Friday, um, we had four births, none of them needed resuscitated, and all of them lived. And it was incredible and just all glory to God because he's the giver of life and we've just seen a lot of life come this week and yeah and Satan will always be defeated so yeah so it's been really really amazing uh, if you can see my clothes here I'll maybe set the camera down and run far away so you can see my clothes I'm wearing a traditional I guess traditional Indian outfit it's called a Punjabi um, we have to have um, a scarf at all times otherwise we're naked. We have to wear these long, long shirt things, and we get to wear Aladdin pants, which is super exciting. So, yeah. Um, thank you for your prayers. Keep praying. Keep praying uh, that God brings life. Um, this week, yesterday was Friday, and I got to deliver my third baby, which was incredible. And every time we deliver a baby, as we pray over them and assess them, um, we're encouraged to ask God for a name for them because a lot of these babies don't get named until days later, so we'll never know what their names are. And so um, the names that God gave me for my babies were Jonah, Paul, and Grace. And it's just been really amazing to see and get to be a part of claiming them for the kingdom and blessing them and praying over them um, also, I guess uh, I want to share with you, besides the labor room, we do get to help in what they call antenatal clinic, which is uh, about three to six hundred women that come through every day and are seen by a doctor for about 45 seconds. Um, but we get to help participate with that by taking their blood pressures. And um, yeah, it's just been a really ble a big blessing because Every woman that we take their blood pressure, we ask if we can pray for them. And about 99.9% .9 of them say, yes, we can pray for them. So 
not only are we giving them health care, but we're getting to pray over them and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal himself to them. And yeah, so it's really, really fun seeing the ways that God is using us here in India. And um, one last testimony of the things that we've seen God do is just the incredible change that we've seen in the staff. When we first got here, um, there's a lot of screaming, a lot of yelling in the labor room from the staff. And just as we continue to love and to bring joy and um, just talk to them kindly, we've seen the staff really change and um, really just begin to talk to us and learn with us and teach us and um, and fight with us as we're fighting for babies' lives. So, yay God, we are just really excited and yeah, excited to see what else God is going to do. So thank you for praying. Keep praying. Um, yeah, and I will keep trying to do updates. So here's one last look off the rooftop and I'll pan down into the um, little atrium of our convent. And yeah, peace out. Love you guys. There's the atrium. And a mosque in the distance. Reporting off. Bye.